Alright guys, it's me. Uh, this is my another update uh, on the old, uh, on the old, on the uh, Bradley co-op build with uh, Norm, Mark, Switcher, uh, well the, <laughs> there's loads of us now anyway. Um, where I'm at now, well as you can see it's not, I've just placed that on top because the interior is absolutely amazing. It's brilliant. Um, it's going together quite sweet. So what I'll do is I'll lift that off now and I'll show you where I'm at. That is the interior. I presume you can see all that. Yeah. Obviously it's got to have a wash now before I uh, put it all together. The engine. I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit on it. Hang on, just bear with me. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you've got the engine. Uh, sorry, the engine. Transmission. Uh, cooler. System. Uh, driver's compartment. I don't know if you're going to be able to, if it's picking that up or not. Yeah, all the decals are on there. I can't really tell on the screen that I've got, but I'm looking at whether you can see it or not. But yeah, the driver's seat. Another seat there. The seats are all in. The outside of the um, turret. Things called what they call it the turret basket bulkhead. I mean, you've got extinguishers and stuff, I presume they're extinguishers or whatever they are there. Um, and then the second half of the interior, you have to build it upside down, which is quite interesting. But yeah, you've got um, little fire extinguishers there. Another fire extinguisher there. I presume you, you can see that, yeah. You've got your computer monitor. Hang on, where I might. Over. I presume you can see that, the computer monitor just there. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at with that. I mean, you've still got the driver's screen to put up to put on which is all that which goes all here and other bits and bobs so still quite a way to go I mean I'm only on number 22 how many sixty one so you know I'm a way into it but I'm I'm a long way from the end yet but I tell you what I'm absolutely loving this it's really really nice build let's just bring that out again it's a really really nice build everything goes together everything there's no practically no flash whatsoever everything is going together beautifully on this um, not a lot to say really about it um, apart from the fact that it's <laughs> a really nice build so uh, yeah, this is just a very short update. You know, I'll tell you one thing I did have to do. Let me just uh, tip them out for a minute and I'll show you. On the old uh, seatbelt bracket, seatbelt brackets, on the seatbelts here, I don't know if you, can, if you can see these. Yeah, the seatbelts here. I presume you can see them. Well, when I got them out of the box, they were all um, misshaped. So, what I did was, I think it was Al Rodriguez's video that I saw of his Bradley um, startup video. Um, and he was on about the fact that they come all misshaped. So, what I did, 
I've got a couple of tiles which I use for my paint and I just laid them flat on the tiles as flat as best as I could yeah Place another tile on top. Got something quite weighty and just left them like that. I just leave them like that for a bit. I'm gonna put them, I've just took them out, so I'm gonna leave them in there anyway, but they didn't quite the one didn't quite be flat, but yeah. So that's that's where I'm at. I'll tell you one thing I did notice, I was looking at the um, the box. Let me just show you the box. I don't know if we're going to see this because it's quite a, a big box. Oh, there we go. On the box here, you've got the anti slip. Yeah, and I thought, no, oh, that's going to be so cool. Masking it all off and then putting the anti slip on. Again here and, and whatnot. Well, looking through the box of bits, just I mean this wasn't planned, so just bear with me for one second. I noticed on here, on these here. Everything that's supposed to have anti-slip has got it moulded in, which I thought was uh, a really, a really nice uh, touch. Yeah, anywhere that's got anti-slip, has got anti-slip moulded onto it which I thought was a really good uh, a good nice thing so yeah so yeah that's it for me guys that's where I'm at um, I've had a lot of people asking me quickly what what colour I'm using for the inside it's the colour they called out on this because the whole complete colour call out on this kit if I can find it is all Vallejo can't see that can I? it's the, com the complete colour call out is the Vallejo so apart from the obvious like tyre and transparent red and orange and black I went in I have a just around the road from me is um, an airbrush supply shop and I went down and I got them all so I'm using Vallejo paints on this apart from I think it's two Tamiya colours but everything's uh, all the colours I'm using but anyway yeah I'm waffling again but the colour that I'm using for the interior is uh, Vallejo model colour green sky 70974 uh, so that, that's the uh, the colour that I'm using for the interior because I've had a lot of people asking about that one so right then that definitely is it from me uh, let me move that dirty old cup of the way um, and uh, yeah so that's my update and uh, I'll speak to you again soon guys alright ta-da have fun keep modelling bye guys <laughs>